Hi friends, it's Laura. I hope you are doing well out there today. I have a video to show how I took apart these little canvas frames that I got at the Dollar Tree. I had a video showing a journal cover and this is it. And this is the canvas print that I have taken off of its wooden frame and cut out and then used it as the focal point of the journal. And on that video, I thank you for your comment about wishing that I had shown how I took it apart. And I promised you I'd do a video and show you how I did that. So here I am today to do that. And I hope this will be helpful. Uh, last time I was in the Dollar Tree, I didn't see these little size canvas. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to have them again. Or maybe they have them in your Dollar Tree. Um, and they just didn't have them in mind. This one, these, all three, are eight inches by eight inches. So eight by eight. And I think the ones I've seen lately are like 10 by 10. And I guess maybe you could still use them. I thought they were a bit too big for a journal. Um, but I guess if you were doing an eight and a half by 11 journal, which I do sometimes, then those would be okay. Um, but this this journal, here i believe this one is um six six by nine it's six by nine and a half um so anyway the bigger canvas would would probably work okay for the eight and a half by eleven journals but these smaller ones the eight by eights work well on six by nine journals um so what I do is just take these staples out. I use a screwdriver and the flatter your screwdriver is here, the better luck you're gonna have. And you can use your awl or something like that to get under there if you need to get started to get, you know, a lot of times the staple will be kind of raised up already and your, your screwdriver will go right on under there. But if they're really flat like this one, you might need a, something pokey to get down under there. Um, you might find a use for your your wood piece that you're gonna have. I save them in case I think of something to do with them, but so far I haven't. If you have thought of something to do with those, I'd love to hear what do you do with them. And then you'll need some kind of pliers to go ahead and pull the staples out. So uh, let's just, well, I'll show you the ones. So you've already seen this one. And then I have this cute donkey these, these, the, I fell in love with these and uh, I just, I think they're so, so pretty. Look how shiny that gold is. And then this little calf. Is that the cutest? Um, I'm almost afraid if I take these apart, these two, that I wish I still had them to hang on my wall. All right, so let's get this thing off of here and be careful with your fingers keep them out of the way we don't want to hurt ourselves And don't worry if you mess up the back of the canvas, this piece here, or, you know, the folds, because you're going to be cutting that off anyway for this project. So it's fine if you rip it or poke holes in it. I'm working on a alcohol inks video, making some of our own paper with alcohol inks. And I've been experimenting around with that. I hope to have that released really soon. I um, had never worked with those before. And so it's been fun. And I hope that it will be a video that'll be of value to you. I've decided that I'm gonna 
make every effort to release vi a video every week on Tuesdays. And so I hope that will be a good day for you. And I'm gonna release them in the mornings around eight o'clock central time. And I can't make 100% promise about that, but that is gonna be my goal. So, all right, now we got that off and um, just wanna go ahead then and cut it out. And using a um, small pair of scissors, I find, you know, a pair like this works really well. And I just wanna cut the image itself out. I'm not gonna worry about this watercolor background. That won't really work with the project the way I'm using it putting it on uh, the front of a journal. And I like to go ahead and cut out the excess so that I have a smaller piece to work with. I am probably, I'm gonna to toss this. If you have an idea of what, what I should save this for, let me know. Um, I guess I could save this little part here and maybe use it for something. Um, I save so much and at some point, I guess, you know, some things just have to get thrown in the trash. <laughs> so anyway, let me know if you think of something I should save that kind of thing for and I'm all about saving if I can think of something to do with it. Then I just kind of eyeball it, and if I see anything that doesn't look, I don't know, um, like a part of the pot and more of like a shadow, I'll just cut that off. Okay, there's the frame and it still has the hanger on the back. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. Just the frame with this in it. Anyway, I don't know how you display that. Just, uh, and so there we go. Now it's it's a cool image and it's because it's canvas and it has like, um, raised parts to it with texture. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see, but I, th I just think these are really neat. So here's a hardcover book and an example of what you could do. Um, just, this is very simple, but I'm um, just gluing it on here like this and putting uh, your journal piece, just kind of tucking it in there. Or you could take a journal plate and put it on like down here and then you could tuck some cheesecloth behind it or something like that and um, so anyway just a quick idea for a journal cover centerpiece here's another one I have one with elephants on it but I couldn't find it this one I've already taken off the canvas but um, so I'm gonna cut this one out
I find this is the easiest way to cut things like this out instead of um, going around it with the scissors straight up right. I take the scissors and go around it, um, turning the piece of paper or whatever it is I'm cutting. And that's much easier for me. Then we want to cut out any bits of internal stuff and just using one of these knives or an exacto knife something like that and just going around it There we go, these are all cut out. Like I said, these are great because they are so thick and durable. And this is the journal I'm planning on putting this one on in the future when I get around to, to making this journal. I've gotten a little bit of a start here. I'll probably put it on some kind of a little background so it stands out. But so there's another example Here's another one I took apart and cut out the words coffee o'clock. This is going to make a really cute journal at some point. So a couple more examples. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know you're out there. It's always so great to hear from you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.